back here on GoSoutheast.com. I'm joined by head volleyball coach Julie Yankis. Coach, you had a couple tough losses last week. Kind of what happened a little mm -hmm. bit. Well, you know, it's you, you hope for a perfect season. You want everything to go right all the time, and that's just not the case. So uh, we just need to learn to deal with some adversity. Um, I think we came off of a really good non-conference schedule and uh, weren't expecting uh, some of the teams that we played to come up, come at us with the force they did. So uh, we learned from some of those things, tried to get back and looked at a lot of film, evaluate things, see what we could do to, to get those wins for the, next, for the rest of the season. Now on Saturday, we, Jacksonville State came to town. They were unbeaten in OVC. Mm -hmm. We pretty much killed them in three sets. <laughs> kind of how are you using that momentum from that really good win to go into this weekend? Yeah, the Saturday was a lot of fun. Um, it's always nice. We kind of, you know, we played really well. Um, you know, first and foremost, we won that serve and pass game. And we got them out of system a lot, forced them to be one-dimensional, uh, which helped just put us, you know, on the offensive all the time. So uh, we really did a good job of terminating as well and took care of things. So we made some changes, I think, this week that were, that were really monumental in that win. Um, we brought a lot of the competitiveness back to the gym. Basically, everyone's trying to fight for their spot, and it really paid off. So we're going to continue to do that and, um, and work hard, and, and hopefully that momentum will carry us into this weekend. So first you're going to Austin P this weekend, who's doing pretty well in the conference this season. And then you're going to Murray, who is at the bottom of the OVC West Division. Kind of what are your thoughts going into those teams? Um, it's going to be a tough weekend, you know, regardless of records or, you know, preseason polls. It really doesn't matter. We're not overlooking anybody. So, um, you know, Austin P is a good team. They're very well balanced. They've got, basically, they have five hitters that can terminate, and um, so we have to get them out of system in order to be successful, um, because if they're in system, they have way too many weapons. Uh, so we're definitely going to work on, you know, again, we need to win that serve and pass game like we did this weekend with Jacksonville State. Uh, and the same thing for Murray. Uh, they've got a couple good outside hitters that get a lot of kills per set, but um, as long as we can keep them one-dimensional and not worry about the other options that they have, uh, we should hopefully be successful. But it's going to be tough. I know it's going to be a battle through and through. Um, the team, those two playing each other went to five. Lots of ups and downs, so hopefully we'll just keep a level head. we got a lot of experience on the floor, and, and hopefully we'll come back with two wins. Now, we can't forget to mention on Monday, junior outside hitter Andrea Balin was named OVC Defensive mm -hmm. Player of the Week. Kind of what were your thoughts on her from this past week? She had a great weekend. Um, it's always nice to get you know personal accolades for our players, um, and so I'm really happy that she was named the Defensive Player of the Week. Uh, as an outside hitter, to have the number of digs she had, um, she was putting up numbers that a lot of liberos do, So, uh, which is nice because she's only in the back row half the amount of time that a libero is. So she did a really great job, uh, especially on Saturday, just getting stopped down the line and digging Jacksonville State down the line. Um, I think that really was their game plan, and, and she really helped slow that down because it was quality digs. We were in system from that, and then we could terminate on the first play. Now we're joined by sophomore middle blocker Taylor Masterson. Taylor, you had a pretty great game last Tuesday against UT Martin, and then the team had a really great win on Saturday against Jacksonville State. How are you going to use your personal momentum and the team momentum to kind of really go into this road swing this weekend? Well, I think we kind of fell into a little rut there for a couple games, and we kind of lost the mentality of having fun during volleyball. So I think the us playing well on Tuesday and Saturday and the win on Saturday will help us carry the fun and the excitement that we have and that we all have been born with and instilled in our heads. So I think we'll carry the, that into our next two games and produce some W's. Okay, well good luck this weekend. Thank you.